guys, so today I want to share another story with you. Today I want to talk about Tamara Judge from the Real Housewives of Orange County getting called out by Gina and Kelly. Or I could call this video, Who's the Shittiest Friend on the Real Housewives of Orange County? I mean, but then if I did that, still wouldn't know who to give the prize to because they're all shitty friends. So let's get into it. So if you've seen last night's episode of The Real Housewives of Orange County, I would say it's really, really good. It's finally getting good. You know, the first half of the season was really putting me to sleep. And I feel really bad that it's really, really getting good on behalf of Shannon Bedore. I mean, I wouldn't want to be Shannon Bedore if you paid me a million dollars. And I am getting such entertainment out of Shannon's friends turning against her. I mean, that sounds really bad, but you know, at least I'm not bored anymore. Sorry, Shannon. So if you've seen last night's episode, then you're fully aware of just how Two-Faced Gina is. I mean, I don't know whether they're called Gina. Two-Faced, backstabber, shit starter. I mean, just when I was getting on good terms with Gina, I was starting to feel sorry for her when I found out that her husband was a no good cheating scoundrel and the divorce really wasn't her fault. But then the very next episode, I'm back to being suspect about Gina. So last night, Shannon got her eyes done, which I really don't think she needs. Like, this is supposed to be about Gina being two-faced, but I have to say a side note about this all this plastic surgery. Like, Vicky got a facelift, and poor little Shannon got her eyes done. Shannon is falling victim to the OC curse. That's what I call it, the OC plastic curse. Just stick to your eyes, Shannon. Do not turn in, into Vicky number two. I believe Vicky has had over 15 sur surgeries, and she still looks the same. No offense. So last night, as Shannon's were recuperating from eye surgery, who comes over? Her two good friends, Kelly Dodd and Gina. And Gina, out of the blue, decides in her little head. And I can tell you what was going on in her head. She was like, listen, I remember I talked a lot of shit about Shannon in the previous episodes. So I don't want that to get back to her now that I'm canoodling in her face and pretending to be her friend. Let me get ahead of the scandal. This is what celebrities do. They get ahead of the scandal. Let me be the first one to get my story out there so she doesn't get mad at me. Because when she finds out that all of her friends called her a nut job, <laughs> She's going to go off and I'm liking Shannon being nice to me. So let me throw it out there first. So for no reason at all, Gina says, listen, I need to tell you something, Shannon. Now I'm going to paraphrase because I don't know the exact words. But guess what, Shannon? Now I know you haven't asked, but I feel the need to clear my name. She didn't say that part. You need to be aware that behind your back, your friends were saying a lot of mean things about you, especially that you need some kind of mental help. That wasn't in those words, but that was the gist of it. And then guess who backs her up? Kelly Dodd. She agrees. Yes, it was mostly Tamara. <laughs> what? what? What the hell? Now, I've heard that friend that saying before with friends like these who needs enemies, but I had no idea it was specifically created for Shannon Bedore. I thought if anyone could use the phrase, but no, it is specifically created just for Shannon Bedore. I mean, I didn't know whether to laugh or cry when Kelly and Gina were trying to save their ass. I mean, did you forget the important part like you were the one doing most of the shit talking? I'm thinking to myself, did Gina really put the spin on things as if she really didn't have that much to do with it and it was all on Tamara and now she's here to save the day to let Shannon know that you and your good buddy shouldn't really be good buddies because, you know, she thinks you're a nut job. And not only did she decide to just throw it out there to save her own ass, have you forgotten that Shannon just had surgery? Even more specific, eye surgery? She couldn't even blink to figure out what was going on. Poor thing, she was sitting there like this. Now, in any other circumstances, I would just go in on Gina and Kelly for being two-faced, you know, backstabbers, trying to save their own ass. But I cannot because Tamara put the information out there for her to get backstabbed. She had no business talking to complete strangers or friends of hers about how she felt about Shannon. Okay, you should have went to Shannon. So I can't feel sorry for Tamara. Sorry, I really tried. I mean, did I? Well, a little bit, you know, a kind of, sort of, not really. Is that bad? The only, I only have one small request. Someone needs to let Gina know how television works. Like, you're recorded. So when you get caught doing something bad, 
like backstabbing your friends, there's no getting out of it because it's all on tape. But I think Gina must have forgot it was on tape because she wrote this blog this morning. That makes absolutely no sense. So she says, I was shocked this whole situation got turned into a negative, ugly thing. You were? Okay. Then she says, I spent the whole day driving around and checking on them. I researched her surgery and what was best for the recovery. And I went to Bed Bath & Beyond to get her a special pillow and face mask. I wanted to, <laughs> I wanted to do that because I care. Yeah, you also wanted to start a little trouble. I mean, go ahead and admit it since you're doing the blog. I mean, that's what I would ask, but I guess she didn't. She says, her closest friend obviously care about her too, and I would never take that from anyone. It's ridiculous to think that I would intentionally cause a problem between them. But you did, you know, you forgot what you said? Whatever. We're all grown women, and to be honest, at this point, I'm so over the entire thing. Maybe you're over it because you got busted. I mean, I'm just thinking that. No one else said that. That's just me. She says, I am a scapegoat. She called herself a scapegoat, people. Now, I'm just as shocked as you are because I'm reading this for the first time, too. I'm a scapegoat for them to deflect from their issues. Are you a scapegoat, Gina? Scapegoat? Okay, accept the things you can't control. Okay. How has Gina managed to turn this around to be the victim is beyond me. It's kind of see good to see Tamara get a taste of her own medicine. Up until now, up until Gina, Tamara has been the shit starter on the show. But now this time, you've, you've been outplayed, Tamara. You know, I want to go ahead and give Gina a little credit for, you know, doing such a good job with playing with Tamara's head and being the new girl. I mean, that's a hard task to do. I really admire her, right? <laughs> and so, you know, this is just the beginning, I have a feeling. But at the end of the day, you know, this was great television. And if you watch my videos, you know how this works. We all have our opinions. So what I want to know in the comments section, is anyone truly upset with Gina for giving Tamara back her, a taste of her own medicine? Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification button for more stories like these. Until next time, talk to you then. Bye.